This year, secondhand clothing is on track to make up at least 10% of global fashion sales according to global data. I myself find it hard to go into Notting Hill or even Marlebone High Street without stopping to go into a charity shop or to rummage through the vendors at Portobello Road Market. It is in these places that you will find the odd person suspiciously checking the prices and the brand a little too meticulously. And if you see this, just know the best is gone and is about to be sold for a lot more than what it was originally on places like Depop and Vinted. With this trend comes the question, is it still easy to find affordable designer? Come with Shift to find out. The first place we visited was Oxfam on Marlebone High Street. At such an upmarket area, it was easy to spot our first designer item. Priced at £40, this coupless dress could be bought for a minimum of £250 on the high street. Not that bad of a discount, right? In this shop, we were spoilt for choice, but our favourite find of the day was this Vivian Westwood trench. For £100, I guess you couldn't expect anything lower in this area, but is it affordable? Maybe not when you compare it to the £5 Zara trench we found next to it, but nevertheless, it's Vivian Westwood, so what can you expect? Next up is Brick Lane, an area famous for its second hand, and we were lucky. Look at this Ganny dress we found in this season's favourite striking print. But it was more on the steep side. For £75, I found this to be a bit dear. But you tell me, would you pay that much? Moving on to the Brick Lane Vintage Market, it seems that trench coats are always in. We found this second-hand Burberry for £450. Definitely not affordable if you're on a budget, but if a Burberry trench is what you're looking for, this is a lot better than the upwards of £2,000 one you can get first-hand. So now we can answer, is second-hand designer affordable? Maybe not in some areas of London, but if you scour, you can find a bargain.